Hello, everybody. I thought I saw someone. Yes. What's the name of the individual in the Greenwood County Jail, please? James Rex wrote. James Rex wrote. We'll take your case up next. Hmm. I don't seem to have a file for Mr. Rex Rowe. Yes, ma'am. R E X R O A T. Yes, ma'am. Give me a minute to find it, but I do have it. Rex wrote. Yes. It is a request for revocation in a 2023 case. That's it. Ms. Shirley, are you ready to proceed? Yes, Your Honor. Very well, we are uh, on the record in 2023, TR 380, State of Kansas versus James Rex Road with Marianne Shirley for the state and the defendant, Mr. Rex Road, appearing in person in custody and pro se. Mr. Rex Road, you are here on a request for revocation of your probation based on an affidavit of Carrie Seeley. 13th Judicial District Court Service Officer. She alleges that you have violated your probation by failing to pay your court costs and fines as ordered, having a balance of $413, having made no payments. She also alleges you failed to report as ordered or directed and that you have pending new criminal charges, including felony possession of fentanyl, drug paraphernalia, marijuana, driving while suspended after a prior conviction, and transporting an open container and no proof of insurance. She says these date back to June 2nd of 2024. So she is also alleging that you apparently failed to serve five days of house arrest or jail as ordered by the court. And so she's asking your probation re be revoked as she uh, reportedly does not believe you are amenable to probation. And at this time, I presume you want a hearing on this? Uh, ju judge, my, my fines are paid in full and I've been in custody since last Monday at 1 p.m. So, um, the reason that I hadn't had the five days house arrest done is because I, I was without a home and um, I got picked up uh, on the warrant that she that you had issued with the no bond hold. And have, like I said, I've been in custody on that since last Monday at 1 p.m. And my fines are paid in full. Um, the uh, the well, if, uh, I may, if I may stop you, sir, we're not going to have the. Uh, the termination today one sided. If, if you want to challenge termination, we'll need to have a hearing and allow the state to bring in their witnesses for that. And well, I, you'd be wanting an attorney to help you fight these allegations, sir? I, I thought that I already had Richard Paul as my attorney on this case. Well, you did have at one point, but he had fulfilled his obligations when you went on probation. If you want me to consider reappointing him, I need to know if you're, what your financial situation is at this time, as whether you can afford to hire an attorney. No, I cannot right now at this time. I, I'm I'm disabled in my back, and uh, I was really hoping to get an OR release today. Um, my mom is getting ready to be put on dialysis, and I. Well, let's let me address that here in a moment on the issue of attorney. You don't have any income and you're no, injured no. where you can't work. Do you on the felony case, do you have an attorney appointed on that? Yes, ma'am. Who is it? Uh, Shannon Cooper. And if you had Shannon, well, let's see. Well, I will approve you for a court appointed attorney on this revocation. I think it makes sense to appoint whoever would have had you before. I mean, that's fine with me. I'll let, I'm going to let my assistant Missy kind of talk to the attorneys and figure out who is best suited to take this case for you. I do and have a home now, though. I have a, I have a place to live, a, a, an, an address, so. Good. Sounds like you're making some progress there. Uh, Missy, when do you want him to come back for this warrant to show cause? November 8th. You said November 8th? Yeah. Judge, 
Judge, I also have a bed waiting on me right now at. Um, well, let me get get one thing done at a time. All right. All right. So you have your attorney. Attorney, or you're getting your attorney. You know you're getting one. Your court date is November eighth, twenty four. At what time is that, Missy? Three thirty. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. All right. At ten o'clock. Now we can issue the address the issue of bond. Um, as I recall, we issued a no bond hold because you were reportedly homeless. <coughs> you weren't coming in to see your probation officer. We didn't know where you were. And uh, Ms. Shirley, what does the state have to say about the issue of bond? Uh, apparently, I, I don't know if he's made bond in the other case, in the Butler County case either. Uh, it's an old, it was an old one. Really? Okay, well, uh, because he has failed to appear, he has failed to report, uh, he only has a six month control sentence, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that his fines, I didn't verify that today. Um, he's alleging disability, he's alleging he was homeless, says he now has an address, but then he started to say he apparently has a bed available in a treatment facility somewhere. At Bel Air? They're holding it for me right now. I would have no objection to him going to a treatment facility, Your Honor. Obviously. Have you made bail in your felony case? Yes. I mean, I'm the only thing holding me is, is this case right now. I was OR released from Sedgwick County and transported over here yesterday. Deputy, is that right? He he has no holds on him? Yeah, he has no holds. And my fines are paid in full. They were paid a week ago. Well, how did you find the money to pay those if you... Uh... My, my my mother paid them for me. Uh, $457. And how is it you have this treatment? How do you know this bed's available and when would they accept you? They will accept me right now. They've They've already, that? It's already It's already set up. I'm, I'm leaving from... I'm leaving from here and checking into there tomorrow. I mean, if if, you, if I'm allowed to leave here today, I have a bed waiting on me and I will be there tomorrow. Okay. Who set that up for you? My mother. What's the name of the facility? Bel Air Treatment Facility. Uh -huh. the, 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 the problem was is that when they found out that I was incarcerated, um, my insurance canceled. And so as soon as I am released, my insurance will be reinstated. Okay. Well, Mr. Rexrod, you need to come to court and then you won't have these problems. And we I, even I, have Zoom court. I understand, Judge. I, I, I was in contact with Mrs. Seeley and I have a cell phone. I didn't have any messages from her and it was completely well, unaware maybe the of that. The problem is she, she's not on probation with you. I'm, I know. on probation with her. It's not her duty to, although she does indicate she tried to find you to some extent, it's not her duty to to chase you around the community. I completely is agree. Is your mom over in Leon? Is that where you told me she lives? No, she she lives in Rose Hill. And so that that's where you've been staying is Rose Hill? I actually, we have a, uh, my girlfriend and I have a home in Wichita now. And what's your girlfriend's name? Allie. Allie what? Wiley. Allie Wiley? Yes. Well, I I guess I'm like Miss Shirley. I can release you to treatment. In, if this is inpatient treatment? Yes, ma'am. 30 days inpatient treatment. But I don't we could, want to. We could furlough him to that if he goes directly there and comes directly back on a furlough. Okay. Well, that's what we'll do. But you have to go directly there and, and come right back when you're through. And if you don't finish it, then you have to come back. So let that be some thought when you think about walking away from there. I will finish it. I, you have my word. All right. Well, that will be the order of the court, but you better be call Missy, my assistant, later in the week to find out who your attorney is. Judge, it'll be Richard Paw because it will a, be Richard Paw. Yes. Okay. You you know how to get a hold of Richard Paw? Yes, I do. Okay, do that. Let him know where you're going to be. I believe he already knows. All right. Thank you. You, may, you may go then. Thank you. Thank you. We will now be on the record in Raggle, on the record in 2024, TR 26, State of Kansas versus Kaylee Raggle, Marianne Shirley for the state. Ms. Raggle, is that you in custody there? 
Yeah, yes, it is. Um, I did turn myself in. All right. Well, you did have a warrant for failing to appear on September 13th. Your case history is full of multiple continuances and multiple failures to appear. So I did order that you not make bond until you see the judge, which in this case is, is the judge that's familiar with your case. So you had told us you were going to apply for diversion, but then after multiple continuances, you failed to appear. So did you ever finish that diversion application and, and contract? Um, the application I did send in already. Right, but then you did, well, one of the hearings, you didn't have the money to, to apply to the application. Did you ever get past that? Right, correct. Um, I'm able to, I'm able to now, but then I was not able to. I had so many other, I was behind on my rent and everything, but I have um, been speaking to, you know, my bondsman like a few times every week. Um, let I've been letting him know that I've been just getting my um all my gatherings together so I can take care of this because I mean no there's no I'm not blowing it off in any way at all so what do you mean you're getting your get your, your get just like uh getting money around like my money just money wise well I don't know how long the or how patient the state will be on this diversion program but I know I'm I like I said, continue this multiple times and had you fail to appear multiple times. So I'm not sure how long I'm going to be patient on this charge that goes back to January 11th of this year. Your Honor, the notes, reflect while... that the, diver... the, the notes reflect that the offer of diversion was withdrawn May 14th after she had failed to comply with uh, the requests. All right, so diversion is no longer an option. Okay. And you're looking at speeding, driving while sp suspended, no proof of insurance. That's 2B misdemeanors. And I'd remind you that each one could have up to six months in jail and uh, up to $1,000 in fine. The insurance alone has a minimum $300 fine. Do you want to talk to an attorney? Do you want to hire one, apply for court appointed? Or do you wish to waive your right to attorney and proceed on your own behalf today? Um, I thought I had an attorney, which was um, Richard Paul. Richard Paul, yeah. All right. Well, if you have Richard Paul, we will continue with Richard Paul. Ms. Shirley, what's your position on Bond? It looks like she's failed to appear one, two, three, at least four times. Um, obviously, I think if we just set a short date, perhaps that will, will work. Okay. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking. I'm, I'm afraid to let you out again, Ms. Regal, before we resolve this, because your track record is such that I probably won't see you for quite a while again. So, Missy, uh, I know you're going to tell me we're way too full for this, but can you put her on Friday's? Or our next available? Yeah, we can do Fridays, 1025 at 10 o'clock. Okay, 1025 um, at 10 o'clock. Judge, yes. Um, I would, I understand that I missed my court dates. I promised it wasn't on purpose, but um, I don't have much longer for anybody to watch my son. I have so much going on with my son, and um, I. How old is your son? He's four. And where is he now? He's with my mom at the moment, but that's all that's all who I have. And he's been sick and my mom can't. She, she wasn't expecting me to be gone until Friday. I was hoping I would be able to get a bond out. Well, you are going to be gone until Friday because I'm, you know, I'm really moving this hearing up. Mm -hmm. But we're not I'm not going to let you run off on me again until October. I'm sorry, Judge. I was never trying to run. From you ever ever it's not a not the case ever now four failures to appear and a host of continuances no i know in those other ones to appear i uh, the one in was it march and april that i when i missed yeah i missed the one in march and then and then of course i missed the one in april because i didn't i did forgot about the one in march so 
right. We'll talk to Mr. Paul about it. And we'll see you back here October 25th, this Friday. That's about three or four days, three days from now. This is Tuesday, so you may go at this time. I'll re I say you may go. I remand you back to the custody of the sheriff, though. I have to say good night. Be safe, be well, sleep sweet, and much love.